This video is dedicated to my grandmother, Ione Rose. She is a wonderful woman who taught me how to take care of hummingbirds. If you love hummingbirds and you also love to save money, this is the video for you. We're going to use whatever you have around the house, and that means any plastic container with a matching lid. These feeders are so easy to make. It's going to be about five minutes for each feeder, and today I'm going to show you how to make two different ones. This has been a really fun video to make. I hope you enjoy it, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hurry, do it now. Good morning. Today we're going to do a hummingbird feeder because the ants are getting to my nectar for my hummingbirds. So we're going to do a built-in water moat and I'll show you how to do this one. Um, very easy to do and I followed the lead of Robbie. I'll put her video link down below to her. Alright, so here's some things that you need. First you want to start with a plastic container and a lid, okay? Any size, and you can also use your um, margarine containers, okay? So you don't have to go out and buy those, but I love having those on hand. You can paint the container pink or red, but I prefer to use ribbon. So get yourself some ribbon, um, a small plastic plate, also a couple of small risers, Anything will do, a piece of wood or even small containers like this. Um, for the hanging bird feeder, I like to use soldering wire. Just it's easier on the muscle. Okay, you're going to need a hair band. If you don't have one of those, get some colored tape. You want a Sharpie or a marking pen, some really good scissors. You want to get uh, your glue gun going. Okay, and then the other thing that's very helpful is in order to get these holes, you need a soldering tool, all right? So thanks for showing up today, and let's go ahead and get started. Starting with a clean container, get your hairband and put it to about the width of the ribbon if you're going to be using ribbon and eye it, make sure it seems even and then use your marker to draw a line and with scissors cut down to just above the line that you've drawn on your container. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, maybe about a quarter of an inch above the line. So then you're ready to wrap your ribbon. Go ahead and cut your ribbon to size, give it an extra inch, and then go to town with your glue gun and get a lot of hot glue on there. Place your ribbon on it. And just go about an inch at a time. And the ribbon that I use has wire in it, so I like to just fold it back so all the wires aren't sticking out. Because they're painful when you go to grab it. Those wires aren't, they don't feel that great on your fingers. Um, so go ahead and stretch it tight and then drop in just a little bit more hot glue, pull it tight, and press it down. All right, so just with your glue gun, use a riser and glue that to the plate and then glue your container onto the base and then you're ready to go. Um, with that top lid, you want the holes in it, so I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so you just wanna cut the lid down to size um, I've already got a template that I use, but um, what you could use is just the base of the hummingbird um, feeder where you're going to be holding the nectar. So just draw 
the shape and size that you need and cut it down to size. And you might have to work with it a little bit. You want to make sure that it easily fits into the hummingbird nectar container. And then with your soldering tool, go ahead and drop in quite a few holes. That's for your hummingbirds. All right, let's put this all together now. So in the container, you want to pour your hummingbird nectar. So just fill the container up. And then with the lid that you made, place that on top. It's going to float right on top. Now around the base is where you pour clear water. And that's what will keep your ants from getting to the hummingbird nectar. Next, we're going to be doing a hummingbird feeder where you've got the ant moat up above. So this, this would be for a hanging hummingbird feeder. And so what you want to do is measure your wire first. You want to make sure that it's long enough um, that it strings down and connects your container that's going to hold the hummingbird nectar and then it's going to need to be wired up into the moat. So I'll show you how to get all of this pulled together. With your soldering tool, you want to go ahead and punch a couple of holes in the sides. You can string your uh, container up with uh, three wires or just two. Either way, it works just fine. And then, again, like I told you, I like to use soldering wire just because it's so much easier on your muscles. Um, you know, if you make a mistake, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to unwire it. So once you cut it to size, you want to go ahead and put the wire through the holes and then wrap the wire around the handle and then loop it over and put it through the second hole and again, wrap that wire around the handle there you go okay what we need to do now is uh, make sure that you double the handle on this base because we're going to go ahead and string the ant moat above this base. Okay? So even three would work. Just like one, two, and three. Um, I've got four here. So before you even begin, you know, consider making out of your wire one of these. Okay? So cut the wire to length. This is going to be, you know, your top. This will be the, the top to hang it on something. Come down here. You want to put your ant moat about right here and then also you're going to need a little area down here at the bottom a little extra wire to hang this okay so let's go ahead and get started um, you want to get a hole in there use your soldering tool don't need much, just a very small hole. And then, go ahead and glue it. that's a little bit time-consuming 
on this project is you've got to hold the wire perfectly in the middle of the water container while it's drying. I'm going to share a secret with you. When you're waterproofing something and using hot glue uh, like we're doing for this project, what you can do is put the hot glue onto the item and then you can cool it down with cold water. So that's what I'm doing here. It's going to save you a bunch of time. You're not going to have to uh, sit there and hold it. Um, so let's just double check to make sure this one is waterproof. Let's put a little bit more hot glue around the wire and I'm pulling the wire back because I want to dip this entire bottom into the cool water. So the cool water is going to cool down the hot glue instantly. And when the glue starts losing the clear look, that's when you know it's hardening. Um, so it becomes a bit more opaque. All right, so I'm just now checking right now to see if it's waterproof and it looks good. I'm not getting any drippage. And so now let's put this thing together. All right, so you want to put your nectar in the base and then put the lid on top, which is going to float right on top of the nectar. And the top part with the ant moat, you go ahead and just loop the bottom wire through the handles and wrap it around and you're good to go. So this is your hanging hummingbird feeder. And uh, just one extra tip I'll share with you. Any wires that are exposed, hit them with a little glue. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and pour my homemade nectar into a couple of these hummingbird feeders and then top them off with the lids. Um, watch till the very end and I'm going to provide you with my recipe for hummingbird nectar. And so just uh, fill up your, your feeders, any extra, just put in a jar um, because it'll keep for a very long time in the refrigerator. Then go ahead and place your lids right on top of the nectar. And this light plastic will float right on top of the liquid. So there we go. And take them outside. And with the ones that are just sitting right on, you know, a table, pour the water right into saucer and your ants are not going to be able to get to the nectar. All right, so I've already put the hummingbird nectar into the bottom container and I also put the lid on it that has the holes for their beaks. So I'd like to show you once it's all strung together, go ahead and hang it up and then pour your water in. You'll need to re-pour water in this every couple of days. So anyway, looks like it's going to work, and my hummingbirds are going to be so happy. And here's some bonus footage. Some of my succulents are really growing wild this summer. Oh my goodness, check this little guy out that I found on the floor. I'm not a clean freak, so a week ago I left on vacation after I repotted a bunch of new succulents. And I found this guy. The best homemade hummingbird nectar recipe is 
one quarter cup sugar to one cup water. You wanna boil it and then cool it down and it'll be ready to go. So leave us a comment and let us know how your hummingbirds are doing this year. And we'd love it if you smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.